Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is Dieworm, and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about this game, Timberborn. And uh, I've been playing this quite a bit. I got 18 hours in, as you can see. I think it's really good. So I just wanted to, you know, make a small video about this. A little different than otherwise, um, but we'll figure it out. So uh, starting with store page. This is the game, overwhelmingly positive on Steam, which is uh, pretty good. 95% out of uh, 4,500 reviews. Uh, you can buy it for, in my case, 21 euro or whatever your equivalent is. Sometimes this might be on sale as well. I bought it for like 20% off at launch, I think, so I paid like 16 bucks. And this is the game itself. So uh, you hear some really beautiful background music. I think the, the background music is, is really quite good, actually. It creates this whole atmosphere. It's a super chill game, and that is exactly what you would expect from the music. Let's go into the settings for a little bit. You got some resolutions options. There's, there's quite a few. Graphics settings, I'm on ultra, but you know, it's not that demanding. Tutorials, some, some input options, edge scrolling, your, your typical RTS stuff pretty much, right? And there are some sound options as well. So I just kept everything pretty much by default. The only thing I changed, I think, was the resolution and the graphics quality, and that's about it. So not many options, but honestly, what do you need? If you start a new game, you can choose between, uh, well, at first you can only choose one class, only the folk tales. These are good farmers, they respect nature and they reward them with plentiful bounties. If you reach a certain wellness level on these guys, you unlock the other faction, the iron teeth. And these are much more like mechanical, industrial, that kind of thing. So let's say you set up a new game. You can select a map. These are pre-made maps. This is not, uh, these are not randomized or anything. And you can just pick any of these that you want. Uh, I usually pick the recommended, but you can do some other things as well. I think I did the terraces maybe the other day. And then you can do next. And here you can do the difficulty. So the, the main difficulty in this game comes from uh, droughts. And droughts are uh, basically, well, they're droughts. They basically stop the, the waters and the rivers from flowing for a couple of days. And the reason that is problematic is because you need the water from the river, for example, to create, um, well, fertile land. And then you can farm on that land. If there is a drought, then if you don't manage the water correctly, all your crops are going to die. And then you don't have food anymore. And then your beavers are going to die. It's a little bit like banished, right? It's like this snowball effect. So here you can figure out your difficulty. And uh, easy is, uh, is actually quite easy, but there are droughts and they're rare and short. Normal is uh, quite a challenge, actually, to be honest. And then hard, uh, I didn't actually try this because to me, this is really a game about just like making a chill environment and making like a town and just enjoying the whole building process. I don't care too much for the droughts, just it, for now at least. So there's also custom, which is actually quite cool. Here you can make the game as easy or as hard as you want. And you can even say, well, you know, drought duration, I'm just not gonna have any droughts. So you just say zero to zero days and then there will be no droughts at all. You can just completely focus on building. So it's whatever you want to do. So let's go with easy for now. I'm just going to show you the initial map and then I'll load a save game that I made. Yeah, so here you are. This is the starting area. Here you see all your beavers and you can't control these guys directly. You can just, you know, build some um, gathering tools or some woodworkers or that kind of thing. And then... You know, these beavers are basically going to get into those buildings and become a, you know, a woodcutter or a berry gatherer or something. So there are a few resources in the game. There is this one. This is science. You need science in order to unlock other, uh, well, other things. For example, let's say storage. If I want to build a large warehouse, I need to have 250 science. So you can get science by building these inventors. If you build them over here, what these beavers are going to do is they're gonna they're gonna try and build this for us. You always need to make paths towards this, otherwise it won't work. And you need a few basic resources first, right? So the your first priorities of concerns are that you get your basic resources in, as with any RTS game, right? So in terms of food, for example, you're gonna build a gatherer, maybe more than one. Maybe like this, right? You build like three gatherers over here. And also over here, you're going to farm some wood, right? So you're going to build a lumberjack. One, two, three. And these beavers, they're just going to build this. Now, the regular speed of this game is actually extremely slow. So uh, I'm just uh, putting in like the triple speed. Otherwise, it's going to take absolutely ages for this to complete. 
And this is a little bit how you set it up, right? So you got a few categories of stuff. You got like crops, you can plant all sorts of crops, uh, carrots, potatoes, wheat, and then you can process that into different types of food. You can plant resources as well, as long as you have a forester, which you will unlock uh, in a little bit. You can have uh, demolishing, assign priorities, like what, what do you think is important, right? What do you want to build first? Some paths and structures. This becomes much more important later down the line when you need to basically build your camps vertically and whatnot. Uh, landscaping, you can build uh, dams, of course, because these are beavers. And the main thing you have here is like this river, for example, right? So this is the start of the river and it flows all the way over here. And then it goes over here and it goes over here, it goes over here. You can see what uh, part of the land is fertile because of the river. And if I start building dams, this changes. So if I just cut this off, for example, all the land over here won't receive any water anymore. And then uh, these crops are just dying. You need to assign, by the way, uh, what you want to cut down. So if you say, I want to cut trees, you need to actually do this. Otherwise, then it's, it's just not going to work. See? So now they're actually going to cut trees. Right, and these guys, they're not gathering because they don't have any storage, right? So you need to build a little bit of storage. For example, a log pile over here so that they can store the wood. You need to build a small warehouse so they can store the berries somewhere. And uh, you can see these guys, they're just like, you know, they're picking up the wood, they're putting it over here. And this is a little bit how you build up your settlement, right? So I'll go over what else you have. You got uh, some hauling posts. They help you increase workers and to be more efficient. Builders hut distribution points if you want to set up multiple settlements. You can do all of that. You have housing, of course, right? Your beavers, they need a, they need a house. So you're going to build like a few of these lodges and you can build uh, much bigger ones later down the line. Water is another important resource. If your beavers don't have enough water, they're going to die of thirst. So what you can do, you can build water pumps. For example, you put them over here. It pumps water out of the river and then you can build some water tanks as well, such as this one. You build a water pump. The back goes into the river. The front always needs to be connected by a path. Otherwise, it doesn't work right. And then uh, this is a little bit how this goes. And if you say, well, you know, I need water fast, you can increase the priority over here. So now these guys are going to immediately build a water pump. And if you have enough beavers to cover all of this, then this is going to be completely fine. It's going to completely work. Different types of food, I already told you, right? These are the processing ones. Wood as well. You can make a lumber mill. You can make a forester. These, these actually plant trees and bushes. So you can, you can plant these berry bushes as well. And you can plant a bunch of trees. You should set this up pretty quickly because otherwise you're just going to run out of resources and then basically anybody's going to die. Some metalworking, power. Some buildings require power. So you can, for example, make a water wheel over here. Then that generates 180 horsepower. And you can use that horsepower and build a small network to get into, uh, well, buildings that, that need power, for example. Science, already talked about it, right? So I think we've got one scientist right now. He's actually generating a little bit of science. So now we got 15. Some leisure as well. If these guys want to have a good time, you're going to build, for example, a campfire for your beavers so they can just chill out after the day's work is over. Some decorations increase their happiness and monuments is for much later in the late game. You can set down these monuments and you can uh, increase once again their happiness and well-being. Happiness and well-being is over here, so they got basic needs. Well, we got that for them, right? We got sleep because of the houses. Hunger and thirst is covered for now because we got enough food. Then nutrition, this is processed food. So this is like bread and, uh, you know, wheat and corn and what and whatnot. All you only can get by building these monuments. And then happiness and social life, these are some of the more leisure things that you find over here. And if you want to unlock the iron teeth, you need to have eight uh, in wellness, in well-being or in wellness. So I unlocked that previously. It doesn't work for me anymore, but that is how you do it. And then over here, you got, you know, a small overview of uh, pretty much everything. So you see who is working where. The, I got 10 beavers, right? And, and one kid. So you got 10 beavers and you see the distribution. Where are these guys working? And are any of them unemployed? Now everybody here has got a job, so that's good. You see here the housing. Two are homeless actually, right? So I should build another house. 
and uh, here you see your entire population and uh, of course over time this will be extended right so let me load up a game that i've already been playing for a very very long time and then you can see a little bit what this small sediment ultimately can turn into if you spend you know 18 hours or like 10 hours on a faction all right so this is my uh, faction this is the same map actually that we just played it and uh, i can turn the camera a little bit so it might be more noticeable right this is the same map see and um, this is what you have, let's say, at the end game of, uh, of Timberborn. So, for example, right, I have a whole bunch of houses here. But these are the much bigger houses. This is the other faction as well, right? These are the Iron Teeth. You can tell by the color of their skin. And uh, we have about 143 people, 7 kids, 106, 136 adults. Got a bunch of houses. We got a bunch of storage here. Look at all the wood and uh, some, some big large storage houses this is all um, man powered uh, power actually these beavers can run into these malls and then uh, then they can power the network so you can see you know how this goes you can make these sort of powered pipes and then this this powers an, a monument right a tribute to ingenuity this is all three within 20 tiles so you can see the well-being of my uh, of my beavers is pretty pretty good the only thing they're lacking is fun because I don't have a carousel yet. But apart from that, it's pretty good. So, you know, the nutrition is all right. All oh, they're pretty happy, at least most of them. Social life is pretty good, although I could probably make a few more like campfires and whatnot. And um, yeah, there's a few icons here and there, but it doesn't really matter. This is just this just means that the, the storage is full and um, these I put on hold. These are breeding pods. These are the only way you can create new uh, citizens. So yeah, you see uh, like, you know, all the farmland over here, which works really well because I got the rivers, right? So you can farm all of this land because this is fertile land. And then if we go down over here, we got the dam, for example, the floodgates. So you can build these and then you can say like, oh, I want this to be, uh, for example, higher. And then every uh, water, every piece of water behind the floodgate is basically uh, rising, which means you create more fertile land, but it also means that, you know, down here, you get less water. So by building these dams and floodgates and whatnot, you can really control the flow of the water. And here you can see, I, for example, made sure that, you know, the water is flowing in the direction that I want it to. So I built all of this, like an entire wall over here. And then over here, I built a dam as well. So most of the water is not actually escaping from here. It's going via the mainstream river, meaning that I have quite a bit of fertile land over here again, right? I can do a lot of farming. It goes over here, some water pumps, some more and bigger water storages. And then over here, I created once again, a massive sort of flood wall that uh, directs the water over here and it got more fertile land. And this is a little bit how you can, you know, control the environment, control the rivers and control the land. And ultimately you can build you know, all these entire societies. And I'm just having an awful lot of fun with this. I think it's pretty good. And uh, there's already a lot of content out here, especially for like 21 bucks. So I just wanted to make a small video and to make you aware of, you know, of this game. And if you enjoy an RTS game, uh, or if you enjoy beavers and building and just a super chill atmosphere and vibe, then this is the game for you. That's really all I wanted to say. I can go deeper into what each building does, but I think you should get the picture here. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. A very different video than what I would normally make, but um, hey, why not, right? See you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. If you do enjoy it, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. And... Um, I'll see you soon next time. Bye-bye.